Hey guys, doing another video from the car. Um, I still like to do this because I DoorDash every day and um, sometimes I have some down moments so it gives me a chance to do a video. I don't really like to at home just because, I mean, you've seen the setup I have there. It's not the best. And here, yeah, I know I'm holding my camera, but I'd like to think that it's fairly steady. Um, hopefully not too bad. So today I actually just switched to the Andela thin red line. As you can see, it has the red backspacer there and then the red liners. You can kind of see on the inside. Um, and then you can see it says save and serve on the blade. So the purpose of this is to support firefighters in the United States. They also had a thin blue line model, which was to support police officers and pretty much the same knife it just had blue liners and a blue backspacer instead of red so everything about this is you know besides the um the pops of color and the wording on the blade it, this is just an indela essentially um i had been carrying the python and just wasn't really feeling it um i wanted something a little bit lighter and just a little bit more low-key so, and I don't really carry this very much. Um, I got this at a really good deal from Spyderco's website. I think they, it was like 75 bucks. I mean, it was a really, really good deal. Um, but yeah, I just haven't carried it much. And I think it's because of this wording on the blade. It's just sort of turned me off a little bit because I'm not a firefighter or anything like that. Um, but I don't know. I'm just, I was kind of like, yeah, let's just, let's just carry the thing. Like it's in the collection. Um, the Andela is a great knife. Uh, you can see it has Spyderco's original spoon clip. I did not swap out the clip for a deep carry just because, I don't know, the spoon clip is a great clip. I'm, you know, I don't know if I'll carry this with shorts or not, but if I'm carrying it with jeans, this is fine. And I have other knives that I want to put the deep carries on. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much just a, a normal Andela. You can see it has Spyderco's bi-directional texturing on the handles um it's in bg10 steel which is a fine steel i've actually found so i have one of their kitchen knives in cts bd1 steel and if it's serrated it holds an edge forever so the fact this is vg1 especially that it's partially serrated i'm fine with that and vg1 is very very resistant to rust formation which is amazing um I tend to get kind of hot, even if, you know, the weather's cooler outside. I don't know. I just, I've always been prone to getting warm. So it's nice to have something that's not going to rust easily. Um, it does have the backlock, which pretty much every Spyderco backlock I've handled has been really nice and smooth. It has the boy dent here um, to prevent you from accidentally disengaging the lock. And um, yeah, it's just a really nice model. It's very closely related to the Delica. Um, pretty much the same construction, same materials, same lock type, except this is just a little bit bigger. Um, I would say this is closer to uh, a pair of three, but it's not really the same shape. Um, but yeah, so you can see, obviously I have dust because I keep my knives overly oiled. Um, but yeah, see, it's very smooth. You can you can open it with one hand pretty easily and then you, to close it you just disengage the lock um give it a little throw forward and the blade should come down and the unsharpened portion here you know ideally would land on your on your finger as it rests there so works pretty well um yeah it's just a cool knife i would recommend the indela for something you know if you want something that's light easy to carry you know well made um it's kind of fidgety and um you know has a at least in the original form has a steel it's very very resistant to rust um but yeah it's just it's just a great all-around knife um and these you know if you you know find these on blade hq or dlt trading whatever they're very reasonable i think they run you can correct me in the comments but i think they're around a hundred bucks maybe not even that um you can mount the clip in, in one of four positions. That's nice, too. It's kind of a spider coat trademark. You have the lanyard hole if you want it. Um, but, yeah, you can't really do the spidey flick because of the back lock. You, can, you can if you give it a little bit of wrist. Like it's even a little bit difficult doing that. But 
Um, yeah, just a really great kind of overall utility knife. And um, this one I'll be carrying probably for the next at least couple of days. And um, yeah, that's about it. Hope you guys have a great day um, and a great rest of the week. And we'll talk to you on the next one. See ya.